Hey everybody, we are going to look at finding equations for lines with a nice negative slope. So again, we are going to go through these steps, find y, finding the y-intercept, locating other nice coordinate points on the line, calculating the slope, and writing an equation in y equals mx plus b form. It's a little blurry, sorry. All right, so let's start out with this first line. We are going to find the y-intercept. So that's where this line, this orange line, crosses the y-axis, which happens to be at 0, negative 2. We are then going to locate other nice points on the uh, other nice coordinate points on this line. So I'm going to follow this line down till I find a nice coordinate pair. Nice coordinate pair. I'm going to go back the other direction and find some too. There we go. Found a bunch of nice coordinate pairs. Now I'm going to calculate my slope. I first want to look at this slope and hone in on my inner. What would slope dude say? Hashtag what would slope dude say? WWSDS. He would say nice negative. He wants to ski down this slope. That means that my equation will end up having a negative slope. So I'm going to just look at two different points. I'm not going to go off this y one because it's starting to get a little busy over there. So I'm going to look at these two points right here. From this leftmost point to the rightmost point, how am I rising? In this case, I'm not rising. I'm falling. So I'm going down three units, and I'm going to show that with a negative number. And I'm going to the right two units. So my slope equals negative 3 over 2. We already know my y-intercept is, oops, intercept, whatever, is 0 comma negative 2. So now we can write our equation in slope-intercept form. Instead of writing the m, we'll write negative 3 over 2. Instead of writing b, we're going to write just that negative 2. So we're going to write y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 2 as my final equation. You could totally write plus a negative 2, that's totally fine, but you could also, you don't necessarily have to, and you can simplify that plus a negative and write minus 2. Let's look at this next orange line. So first things first, find my y-intercept. Looks like it crosses the y-axis right there. That's at 0, negative 1. Then I need to locate other nice coordinate points on this line. So I'm going to follow this down until I find a nice coordinate pair right there. There's no more. Here's one. And again, no more in that direction. Now I need to calculate the slope, and I need to hone in on my inner slope dude. He would also say nice negative, so I'm going to write that in here. Nice negative. To hone in on my inner slope dude, he would be stoked on this slope. And now we're going to calculate the actual slope. So from one of these points to the next point, so from the leftmost point to the rightmost point, um, I am going to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And notice when I'm calculating, when I'm counting these, I'm counting the spaces between those lines, not the actual lines themselves. And I'm going over to the right, one unit. Oops, I didn't write this as down six. I wrote that as plus six. This is a subtraction of six. We're going down. So my slope equals negative six over 1, rise of negative 6, a run of 1. So my slope is negative 6, or I could say it's rise over run format of negative 6 over 1. My y-intercept is equal to 0, negative 1. So that means my equation in y equals mx plus b form, so slope is my m, so y equals negative 6x minus 1 for my b. And I'm done. I now want you to practice some of the must-do practice problems. Do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about anything. And then try your hand at the exit pass. Thanks for watching.